everyone, it's Nicole here. Today I'm at Overland Park Farmer's Market to do some plant shopping. Um, I've never thought about going to a farmer's market for plants, but um, obviously this is a lot of people's suggestions. So I'm here and we will see what they have and if they really sell house plants. Okay, let's go. see plants here okay let's take a look they have all succulents one for six or three for fifteen I think they have pretty good varieties oh he's very cute and they also have this starfish snake plant for six dollars Oh my gosh, and this one is also flowering. They also have those very, very cute stone succulent. Um, is it how people call it? Also one, also one for six dollars. Some peperomia. snake plants also six dollars I think the price is okay and if you are looking for something like very special or hard to find in store I think coming to farmers market would be a good option let's keep going they have those jasmine plant for twenty dollars it smells so amazing and this one is the alocasia poly, the one that I used to have. Um, it's ten dollars, ten dollars or twenty dollars. And this one is more like a combination. It's in the bigger pot, so this one is twenty dollars. Okay, I found something very very cool. So if you are having fungus gnats problems or you see little flies just flying around your plants in your house. I know it's very annoying and this is one plant that could help you solve the problems um, I shouldn't use the word solve but um, this one is very cool it's called butterworts so what it does is um, when the flies fly over here land on it it will just stick on the leaves it will gradually absorb and like kind of digest that net so wherever you put it the nets will just land over there so it's very cool this one even flowering look how cool it is another very cool one is this venus flytrap so if you have any flies problem in your house this might be something you could get it's about ten dollars um, as well I mean I haven't seen them in local nurseries so if you're looking for something similar like that online just come to the farmers market I just very surprised I could find it and then they have more succulents and yeah euphobia they are really cute this euphobia is twenty dollars before I filmed this video got this footage I saw this this is a begonia maculata it has super super nice polka dot pattern and if you look at the back it's red it's like pinkish reddish color it's just so pretty and I cannot say no to it it's on my wish list so this guy is ten dollars I think it's a fair price another very cool plant that I see is this pitcher plant oh my gosh I mean yesterday I went to one of the largest nurseries in uh, Kansas City area and I did not see it over there but this one is huge this pitcher plant it eats all kind of bugs this is the tropical plant so it needs high humidity but if you have any bugs problems 
this could help you. And they're asking for $35 for a smaller one or $65 for a larger one. FYI, this is the larger one, $65. And here is the smaller one. <laughs> if you guys are interested in the plants that I talk about, um, the vendor said she comes in every single week and the nursery is called Burr's Botanical Nursery in Missouri so check it out if you get a chance okay this is another booth and they have a lot of flowers and some succulents oh they also have the begonia <laughs> They also have the begonia. This is the angel wing begonia. It's so pretty. Look at the polka dot. I'm just in love with the polka dot pattern. Oh. And they're asking for seven dollars in this such a like seven uh, six inch pot. I think it's a very good price. And they have some hens and hens and chicks for four dollars. Those are all three dollars hands and tricks. So they even have a smaller one. I think it's so cute. I'm finally back from the farmers market. Wow, I did not really expect that, especially getting plants from the farmers market. So let me show you what I got. Of course, I mentioned it in the video. This beautiful begonia machulada is what I got from the farmer's market. I paid $10. It is so pretty, so perfect. I really like the red, deep red color. There are so many fresh fruits and vegetables, eggs, honey in the farmer's market. And I only saw three or four vendors selling plants, especially um, for house plants, I only saw a couple. So if you are trying to go house plant shopping, I would not recommend going to farmer's market. But if you are just want to see anything special or want to see what they got, I recommend checking out your local farmer's market. It's so cool. I haven't been there for a long, long, long time and I'm so glad I did it this time. Alright, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of content. This is Nicole. I'm so glad to have you and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.